In today's class, we are going to deal with a new lesson in grammar and the name of the lesson is participle. So, let's begin. A participle is so called because it is partly a verb and partly an adjective and participates in both functions. So, they are also called verbal adjectives. So, the other name of participle is verbal adjectives because a participle is partly a verb and partly an adjective and it participates in both functions. Okay. Example, hearing the noise, the child woke up. So, here the word hearing qualifies the noun child as an adjective does. It is formed from the verb hear and governs the object child. So, we all know what an adjective is, right? An adjective is a describing word that describes a noun or a pronoun. So, in this sentence, the word hearing qualifies the noun child just like an adjective. Now, there are three kinds of participles. The present participle, the past participle and the perfect participle. So, today we are going to study about these three kinds of participles. The present participle. The present participle is formed by adding ing to the verb which means v plus ing or verb plus ing. It's the same thing. It is always active and it denotes an incomplete action or state which means the action is not yet over, right? Now we shall study the uses of present participle. 1. To form continuous tenses. Example, the monkeys are jumping from tree to tree. So, in this sentence, jumping is the present participle. And we have added ing to the verb jump in order to make it jumping. So, it is in the continuous tense which means that the action is still not completed. Right? 2. As an adjective qualifying a noun that follows it. Examples. A drowning man clutches at a straw. So, in this sentence, the word drowning is an adjective because it qualifies the noun man. Barking dogs seldom bite. So, barking is an adjective which qualifies the noun dogs. So, drowning and barking are present participles. In these two sentences, the present participles function as adjectives which are complements of verbs. They are subject complements. 3. As an adjective in the subject complement position after the verbs like be, is, am, are, was, were, seen, appear, etc. Let's have a look at the examples. Her behavior is irritating. The film is really interesting. So, irritating and interesting are present participles in these sentences. Four, as an object complement placed after the object, that is noun or 
pronoun examples i saw the girl weeping we saw the sun rising so weeping and rising are present participles so in these two sentences the present participles function as object complements as you can clearly see 5 as an adjectival phrase generally put after the noun it qualifies example the car standing at the corner of the road is mine so in this sentence standing is the present participle which can be clearly understood at the corner of the road is the adjective phrase right so over here the present participle helps to form adjectival phrase qualifying the noun which is placed before it 6 to express the earlier action if the sentence refers to two actions by the same subject example seeing the policemen the thieves ran away so here we have two actions and the first action shows the earlier action so the word seeing is the present participle in this sentence 7 as an absolute phrase examples it being a fine day we arranged for a picnic next the boss being away the employees had a good time so it being a fine day and the boss being away are absolute phrases here the participle and the verb of the main clause have different subjects as you can see in this sentence the participle must follow that noun or pronoun which is its subject now we shall study errors in the use of participles since the participle qualifies a noun or pronoun like an adjective it must have that noun or pronoun to which it could be referred to in a sentence like over here we have an example working in the field a snake bit him now the sentence is wrong why because this sentence means that the snake was working in the field which makes no sense at all there is no noun or pronoun to which the participle working refers therefore we have to rewrite the sentence as now here you can rewrite the sentence in two ways the first one is working in the field he was bitten by a snake and the second way is while he was working in the field a snake bit him okay so you can rewrite the sentence in this way to make it correct now here we have a few more examples of the wrong use of the present participle so please go through each and every sentence very carefully next we have the past participle now the past participle usually ends in en n 
E D D T. It denotes an action or state which is completed and hence is no longer in progress. So past participle denotes an action or state which is completed and over. Example, the wounded soldier died in the hospital. So here the process of getting wounded is complete, which means the action is over. If the past participle is formed from a transitive verb, it is passive in form. Example, the wounded soldier. So in the passive form, the sentence will be, the soldier was wounded. Okay. Next, a past participle is a non-finite verb, which is the third form of the verb and works like an adjective. So remember that a past participle is a non-finite verb which is the third form of the verb and it works like an adjective. Alright? Now we shall study the uses of past participle. 1. To form perfect tenses. Example, she has gone to school. So in this sentence, the word gone is the past participle and by reading this sentence we can clearly understand that the action is completed okay two as an adjective placed before the noun it qualifies example that is a haunted house so, in this sentence, the word haunted is an adjective which is placed right before the noun house and it is a past participle. 3. As an adjective in the subject complement position after the verbs like be, that is, is, are, was, were, seem, appear, etc. to complete a sentence used predicatively and we have an example over here. You look troubled. So in this sentence the word troubled is the past participle. Okay. Next number four as an object complement placed after the object that is noun or pronoun used predicatively example is they kept me waiting so in this sentence the word waiting is the past participle okay Next, as an adjectival phrase generally put after the noun, it qualifies. Examples, the robber wanted by the police was caught. So, in this sentence, wanted is the past participle and by the police is the adjective phrase. Next, the workers injured in the accident were admitted to the hospital. So in the, this sentence, the word injured is the past participle. In the accident is the adjective phrase in this sentence. Okay. Next, past participle is used to express the earlier action if the sentence refers to two actions 
by the same subject. Example, deceived by his friend, he committed suicide. So here we have two actions by the same subject. So in this sentence, the word deceived is the past participle, right? Next, as an absolute phrase, example, the sun having set nothing could be seen. So in this sentence, the sun having set is the absolute phrase. Now we shall study about the perfect participle. Participles formed by addition of having, having been, placed before a past participle of a verb as having heard or having been examined are perfect participles. Let's have a look at the examples to get this concept clear. The first sentence that we have over here is Having completed his work, he went to sleep. Now this sentence means that after completing his work, he went to sleep. Right? Next, having been examined, I came back. So, this sentence means, after being examined, I came back. So, therefore, having and having been examined are the perfect participles in these sentences. Okay? Examples of present participle in passive form. Let's study. Being dissatisfied, he resigned from his post. Being occupied with my work, I could not get time to talk to you. So, these are examples of present participles in passive form. Okay? Next, we have examples of perfect participles in active form. Having found the correct answer, the boy was overwhelmed with joy. Having travelled for a whole day, they felt tired. So, having found and having travelled are examples of perfect participles in active form form. Next we have examples of perfect participle in passive form. Having been praised by the king, the artist became famous in his country. Having been educated in England, the man soon got a job in India. So having been praised and Having been educated are examples of perfect participle in the passive form. So, please go through this carefully. Next, we have combining sentences using participles. So, we can also combine individual sentences using participles. Let's have a look at the examples. The weather was fine. I went out for a walk. So here we have two separate sentences which we can join into one using participles. So the answer would be the weather being fine. I went out for a walk. So was got changed into being, right? Next, she could not attend the school. She was ill. So, how can you write this using a participle? 
being ill she could not attend the school 3 he reached the front door and rang the bell so over here we are using having and the answer is having reached the front door he rang the bell 4 the cat is away the mice will play so the answer is the cat being away the mice will play so in this sentence again is has changed into being and number 5 is we arrived at the station we saw the train moving so how can we write this using a participle on arriving at the station we saw the train moving so here i have given a number of ways by which you can combine separate sentences into one by using participle okay exercise 1 the instruction given over here is you have to pick out the participles in each of the following sentences right one she looks worried and dejected Two, God willing, we will meet again. Three, a man carrying a large parcel got out of the bus. Four, entering the room, I saw him. Five, I watched him rehearsing the play. Six, a burnt child dreads the fire. Seven, coming events cast their shadows. In exercise 2 the instruction is combine the following sentences using participles. 1 We started in the morning we arrived at midnight. 2 They reached home they went to bed immediately. 3 The school was over the students came out. 4 He was scared he had seen a lion coming five the sun had set we stopped playing six when he heard the news of the death of his father he was shocked seven i picked up my school bag and boarded the bus and number 8 is he lost a large amount of money he gave up gambling so students please go through all the rules of participles very carefully and then solve these exercises on your own thank you